people should have a right to recovery um, and for that right to recovery to be meaningful it has to you know, have the right services with the right investment in place. The debate about the bill is whether a right to recovery should be encapsulated in law, in statute. I've said I'm open-minded to that. There is no right to recovery bill yet. It hasn't been published. I'm very open-minded to it, and when it's published, we'll look at that with a, a fair mind and support it if we think it will add to this. What I'm absolutely certain about, though, is that we should not wait until the often long and laborious legislative process uh, concludes before getting on with the work now that will give a right to recovery meaning and substance, because it's the substance of a right to recovery, much more than whether it's in law or not, that will make a difference to lives of, of people who are struggling with drug misuse. Completely open-minded, we'll look uh, fairly and uh, objectively at that, and I am open to anything that I think can make a difference. What I'm not going to do, though, is wait until a bill is published and then obviously we'd have to see you know, what uh, consensus there was in Parliament to put that through and, and what time scale. But I'm not going to wait uh, to do the things that are necessary. Passing a law doesn't change anything uh, or rarely changes anything overnight. You still have to do the work to give meaning and substance to what has been put into law. We, we've tried to do things to uh, address and turn around the drugs problem. Uh, but clearly, self-evidently, what we've been doing up until now has not been effective. So I can do that traditional politician thing and I can defend what we've done before in order not to admit any failings. Or I can say, actually, much more candidly, we need to try different things. We need to try different approaches. We need to put more investment into this. And I'm choosing to do that because this is too important for it to fall foul of the traditional political rhetoric and defensiveness uh, that governments can sometimes show. Tell us a bit about why you're here today and what you've learned. Yeah, well, during the First Minister's questions a couple of months ago, I asked the First Minister to, to visit this community and this facility uh, to see the support that is available, but what more can be done to help those with addictions to drug and alcohol. You know, we are seeing four people every day in Scotland lose their life as a result of this. The most recent figures, uh, over 1,300 in a year, the highest not just in the UK, but across Europe. So it takes political leadership to, to solve this issue, to come up with the solutions, uh, and hopefully by coming together we've shown uh, people here and across Scotland that we can park our party politics at the door uh, and come up with some real tangible outcomes to start fighting back against these drug deaths.